Hey guys, I have shown how to do this before on my channel, but I just thought I would give it a little review. Uh, renewal? Update? Something like that. So I did some experiments yesterday and I did this. So all this is is gloss gel medium. And in the gloss gel medium, I poured in some of my extra seed beads that I was going to purge out of my stash and some different kinds of glitter and micro beads and things. Mixed it all up and then spread it out on the page and let it dry overnight. And it turns into this, and this is done on deli paper. So when I collage it down to a mixed media piece or a gift tag or something, a little piece of this, especially if I tear the edges, the background, the paper, will almost completely disappear and you'll just get this the glitter. The glittery dots, the glittery schmear <laughs> on here. So let me show you what I did. So here is one of my palette plates and let me zoom in just a little bit. There we go. There's a big dollop of gloss gel medium and I poured a couple different colors of yellow and gold um, seed beads into it. Now when you're doing this Make sure you kind of give it a mix slowly because otherwise the beads are going to pop out of the dish and go everywhere. Guess how I found that out. <laughs> All right, then I'm going to go into my drawer of glittery things. And I'm going to pull out a few. Ooh, I want to use this. Let's use this one. I'm going to pull out a few that I think I might want to use here. I like to use a variety of textures and colors. I think I actually might put some glamour dust in here instead of, let's see. I wish I had a glitter that was more yellow than gold. I don't really though. It's like I have every other color on the planet except yellow. I don't need to go buy anymore, so I'll just use what I have. Um, so this is a Martha Stewart. This is Florentine gold. So we'll put some of that in there. And then glamour dust is just a super fine micro dust. It's like a, a whiter pearlescent color. So I'll throw a bunch of that in there. This is another Martha Stewart. This is a, one of her chunkier glitter flakes. This is Lemon Drop, which is really yellow, so we're going to add a bunch of that in there. Okay. And this is Micro Beads. These are Recollections Micro Beads. This is Champagne. Okay. And micro Beads are different than Seed Beads. Mic micro Beads are just little balls of like plastic or glass with no holes in them. See how tiny they are? Those little things running around on there? Those are micro beads. So again, just mix it carefully. Get everything incorporated. And then I'm going to put it into a small jar. This is a little, just a little container from the travel section at Target. You can get them, I think, like four to a pack for a couple bucks. You can use any small container that dries, uh, I mean, that closes tightly. Now, I'm not going to completely clean the plate off, but I am going <coughs> to put the lid on this <coughs> so it doesn't dry out tightly and put it in my drawer. And then I'm going to take what's left on the plate through some uh, stencil, some punchinella here. And I'm going to just spread it out and I'm going to scrape off what's left on the plate here. There we go. So when that dries, 
It's going to be a yellow and gold version of this green and blue one, and it's a really great idea to have to use in your mixed media. Um, and now I have not only a jar of this to use on future projects, but I'm going to have a little piece of deli paper with some already on it. So cool. I hope it gives you some ideas of what you can do with stuff you've already got in your stash to make a new kind of a texture product. I got this idea quite a while ago from some of Golden's um, gel mediums that they have. Like they have glass bead gel and they have all kinds of different kind of gels and mediums with different things floating in them. And it occurred to me, why can't you put glitter and stuff like that in them? And of course you can. So give it a try, see what you think. Don't forget to uh, um, like, um, share, and subscribe. Comment if you have any questions, comments, or concerns in, in the comments below. And if you want to contact me for any reason, if you've got a product you'd like me to try and review, my contact information is in the description below, so please read it, along with the link to my new Facebook group and all that other stuff. Don't forget to go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I'll see you later. Bye.